Well, April is National Autism Acceptance Month, and over the past few weeks, an upstate organization distributed a special toolkit to law enforcement agencies all around Lawrence County. Carlos Flores joins us now live at the City of Lawrence Police Department to tell us about Carter Kits and the impact this is having on members of law enforcement. Carlos? That's right, Jane. This fidget cube is just one of the many tools now that members of law enforcement now have thanks to the Lawrence County Disabilities and Special Needs Board. And according to Chief Heath Copeland with the City of Lawrence Police Department, they're able to connect with the community like never before. The conversations on how police interact with people on the autism spectrum has been evolving. When I first started, if you came in and somebody had special needs, it was just automatic call the ambulance, get medical help out here and law enforcement didn't really engage. According to leaders with the Lawrence County Disabilities and Special Needs Board, this situation can happen more frequently. The prevalence is increasing, so it's more likely our law enforcement will engage with someone that has this diagnosis. This is where these Carter kits can come into play. It would fit a person that, of course, has sensory issues. Or the kits are filled with fidget toys, earmuffs, and a weighted blanket. It also includes a card to help people who are nonverbal. So if they can't verbally express what's going on, they can point to a card and say, hey, this is how I'm feeling and what I need. And it, of course, helps them at the scene and make sure that everybody's, um, I guess, at ease. Chief Heath Copeland says it allows his officers to connect with the community. If you go into it and you're, for lack of a better term, barking orders at a kid that doesn't understand what you're trying to say, um, you've got to have another way to come about it. A simple way to create a lifelong bridge. Where this is another tool that will help us in that um, battle to help protect our community, keep them safe, and help them enjoy our community, which is the whole goal of everybody. So far, the board has distributed kits to the City of Lawrence Police Department, the Lawrence County Sheriff's Office, and the City of Clinton Police Department. Now, if you would like to help the Lawrence County Disabilities and Special Needs Board distribute more of these kits, we'll have a link for you on WIFF4.com. But for now, live in Lawrence County, Carlos Flores, WIFF News 4.